Courtney, you know, I got to tell you, I love when the market is up without the same five names that sort of distort the action. So for many, many months, we would see, oh, man, the S&P is up, the Nasdaq is up. But there were far more losers than winners, and it feels like that's reversed. The question, though, is can it be sustained? Can you have a broad market rally without technology stocks and communication stocks leading the way? I think you very much can. And that's what we've been talking about the last several months is how eventually we were going to see this rotation happening. And it's now coming to fruition. And this is just a good reminder, though, to everybody out there who might be invested in something like an S&P 500 fund. And I, I find a lot of people will do that just to get broad diversification. But the S&P 500, if you include Amazon, is about 40% technology firms. And so just by owning that, you might be a lot more exposed to those categories. And if we see this rally broaden out, you might want to break out your growth versus your value firms rather than bundling them all together exactly for that reason. Right. In the meantime, though, the economy is improving, right? And we are getting a leadership, uh, as has been pointed out, from, for instance, financials, industrials, uh, some of the best sectors, financials have been the best today. The banking index doing much better. That regional bank index, the KRE, up 20% this month. So, Courtney, uh, you know, you talked about breaking out your portfolio, not just putting it all into an S&P fund. I agree with you a thousand percent. Is it time, though, to be looking at sort of these nuanced ideas, not the big Wall Street stocks, but maybe regional stocks, regional bank stocks? I co actually, Charles, you took the words right out of my mouth. I was exactly going to point out your regional banks are a really good thing to look at right now. Um, banks in general are doing great, but some of your small or mid-sized banks here are significantly undervalued compared to some of those brand names. And actually, Barron's just this weekend pointed out a company called Wintrust is out in Chicago. And when you look at some of these smaller banks, they're really attractive from an acquisition standpoint. And they might get scooped up from some of those bigger banks, which actually means right. some more upside right. potential. So I think it's a great place to look at for some value right now.